Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how Jack Harlow reacts to awkward Emma Chamberlain video. Let's get right into it. The first class rapper wore a handsome Givenchy chocolate brown suit with traditional leather dress shoes and his typical unruly curls to the 2022 Met Gala. The rising star's performance continued his affinity with the label. He wore another ensemble from the French fashion company to this year's Grammys. The rapper has spent the last few months promoting his new album, Come Home, The Kids Miss You, which was released on May 6th. Initially class, his second single from the new album has become an instant hit, going viral on TikTok since he first released it last month and landing atop Billboard's Hot 100 the first week of its release. But his outfit wasn't the only headline-worthy conversation of the night. Twitter is captivated by Jack Harlow and Emma Chamberlain's slightly awkward but nonetheless beautiful Met Gala interaction. Emma Chamberlain, a renowned YouTuber turned influencer, served as Vogue's on-camera interviewer at the 2022 Met Gala. The social media star spoke with a variety of celebs, including Hailey Bieber, Billie Eilish, Camilla Cabello, and many others. However, a moment with Jack Harlow has gone viral, as fans speculate that Jack may be flirting with Emma. In the minute-long interaction, Jack approached Emma as she was finishing her makeup. Emma asks Jack, Okay, so what are we wearing tonight? To which Jack responds, A suit. At the end of the interaction, Jack compliments the food at the event, and Emma agrees. I know, Jack responded. You know what's up. I don't have to explain it to you. Finishing up the conversation, Emma tells Jack she'll see him in there. And he begins walking away saying, Can't wait. Love you. Bye. Emma says, Love ya, back to the Kentucky-born rapper, before staring into the camera, realizing what just happened. Twitter can't stop gushing about the two. One user wrote, OMG, he said love ya so nonchalantly. I understand her reaction, lol. One Twitter user commented, The best part of the Met Gala was Emma Chamberlain's interview with Jack Harlow. One Twitter user then wrote, I have been laughing at the Vogue video of Emma Chamberlain interviewing Jack Harlow for nearly a half an hour now. Harlow unpacked the widely viral exchange with Jimmy Fallon during a visit to The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. The 24-year-old said with a grin, That's like a piece of art, because there are so many ways to interpret that, you know what I mean? Everyone has a different take on what was going through her head. Fallon asked Harlow if the love you profession was how he ended every interview, to which the hip-hop star responded, Only if I love them, I have a lot of warmth to share. When the host teased him about Chamberlain's amusing reaction in the video, Harlow reminded him that love you was a two-way street. He said, she said it back, he then added, we love each other. While some fans are amused by how Emma performed well in interviewing the attendees of the Met, some are not really happy with her presence for sporting some jaw-dropping jewels allegedly stolen from Indian royalty. Emma Chamberlain is an equal parts internet sensation and aspiring fashion icon. Because of this, it is no surprise that the YouTuber, who has over 11 million subscribers, showed up at the 2022 Met Gala to orchestrate interviews for Vogue. Her gilded glamour ensemble featured a cropped shirt with puff sleeves and a slinky white skirt, but it was her attention-grabbing choker that stole the show. The necklace is set with a massive yellow 23.6 carat De Beers diamond in the center, as well as 2,930 smaller diamonds reaching a stunning 1,000 carat weight. However, it's not just the price that makes the choker unique. It also has a fascinating backstory. The sculpture was notably owned by Maharaja Bhupinder Singh of Patiala, who ruled from 1900 to 1938. It's also worth remembering that Singh was one of the world's richest men and an ardent cricket player, yet his necklace mysteriously vanished from the Patiala Royal Treasury around 1948, nearly 10 years after his death. The choker is thought to have been taken by the British as the necklace resurfaced in a London jewellery store in 1998, where it was purchased by Cartier, a business for whom Chamberlain is an ambassador. When Chamberlain wore the iconic piece to the Met Gala, the internet exploded with comments and criticism about her eye-catching jewellery. One user wrote on Twitter, OK, so nobody is going to talk about Emma Chamberlain wearing literally a necklace worn by a South Asian king at the Met Gala? The user then said, When it comes to South Asians, it's always ignored and rejected. Speak about this. Another one wrote, This is way worse than Kim wearing Marilyn Monroe's dress. It has a deep and painful history attached to it. Very on the theme, nothing screams gilded glamour, quite like exploration. Others, on the other hand, are defending Chamberlain and pointing the accusation onto Cartier. One user wrote, Cartier are the ones to be cancelled, making their ambassadors wear a stolen necklace of a glorious history, not a clueless YouTuber. I'm sure she wouldn't have worn it if she was informed of its history. So far, Chamberlain has been silent about the controversy surrounding the choker. 
That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.